video, I want to introduce you to the concepts of domain and range. When we're working with a function, it's useful to know what values of the independent variable and what values of the dependent variable the function is actually spanning. We have a graph on the page which shows an increasing line that starts at 0, 50 with an endpoint and ends at 10, 55 with another endpoint. So a relatively short increasing line segment. The domain tells us the set of possible values of the independent variable spanned by the function. The domain spans from x equals 0 all the way up to x equals 10. Those are the allowed x values that we have. We could also write this as an interval left bracket 0 comma 10 right bracket. The range tells us the set of possible values of the dependent or output variable spanned by the function. In this case, the range is very, very small. It goes from a y value of 50 to a y value of 55. We could write the range as 50 is less than or equal to c of x is less than or equal to 55. The graph, by the way, is labeled c of x. We could also write that in interval notation as left bracket 50 comma 55 right bracket. Now that seems like a fairly easy concept, but it's a little harder when you try it yourself. So why don't you go ahead and pause this video and try to write the domain and range for the graphs of r of x and p of t that are shown below. Okay, hopefully you gave that a try. The graph of r of x has an endpoint at the origin, and it's an increasing line passing through the point 10, 60. There is no defined right endpoint on the graph. When we think about the domain of this function, that's the allowed values of x, and we start at 0, and then we have allowed values of x going to the right and continuing to the right as far as the graph goes, which is till infinity. When we think about this, we start at 0 with a bracket on 0 because we are including the endpoint of 0, and we continue to positive infinity with a right parenthesis on that. So left bracket 0 comma infinity right parenthesis. Now let's think about the range of r of x. Again, we're starting at that defined point of 0 and now going up. And we're going up forever on the graph. So our range, which is the y values, also starts at 0 with a bracket and continues to positive infinity, right parentheses, but now going in the y direction. It's like a number line rotated vertically by 90 degrees. The graph of p of t starts at the point 0, 5,000 with a well-defined endpoint and ends at the point 15, 2,000 with a well-defined endpoint and a line segment in between. The domain for this graph is the allowed values of x. So we have allowed values from 0 all the way to 15, stopping at both ends, which means our domain is going to be left bracket 0, 15, right bracket. The domain corresponds with the x-axis. The range corresponds with the allowed values on the y-axis, which is going to span from 2,000 to 5,000. So our range is going to be the lowest y value, which is left bracket 2,000, to the highest y value, which is 5,000 right bracket. So left bracket 2,000 comma 5,000 right bracket. And again, that corresponds to the y-axis values. To recap, domain tells us the set of possible values of the independent variable. Range tells us the set of possible values for the dependent variable.